This bullshit. Accelerate PA targets dead cell zones in the Poconos. Half the reason I moved up here, why I moved out here into the side of a mountain in the middle of the beautiful fucking woods, was because there was no cell phone service. When I visited the first couple times, yeah, it's an inconvenience, but that's why we moved here, because I had so much writing and reading and work I wanted to do, self-education, and I can't do it with phone and internet and cable TV and all this shit. I need quiet. I can't be distracted, interrupted, or I'll never get done what I'm trying to get done. What I'm trying to read, what I'm trying to write, and what I'm trying to figure out. Of course, so I move up here a couple months after I move up here. I hear a fucking helicopter loud as shit one morning. I wake up, I look. They're up putting a cell phone tower on the top of the mountain with a fucking helicopter. If you think it's this is about economics, business, finance, you're fucking nuts. They're putting towers everywhere. They're putting towers where no one lives. They're putting towers in national parks and game reserves. They're putting towers where people homestead, where there might be one person every hundred miles. You see, that doesn't make any sense as a business model. Do you get that? And look at this fucking fear porn. Because they need, they need people to demand it. So we're still a democracy, right? Picture this. You, your wife, your kids, all dead. Just because some anti-social conspiracy theorist didn't want to live under a high-intensity microwave array. Picture it, you're on a side road, a back road, and you have an accident. No one saw you go off the road. You're sitting there and you can't even use your cell phone. You can't even call your family. You can't call 911. We need to put we need to cover every square inch of the world with cell phone service. Okay, and people say, why? Why are you running from the cell phone service? Why don't you want to live next to a cell phone tower? Uh, why don't you want to live next to a fucking meth lab? You know? Multiple reasons. Number one, it has long-term harmful effects. It's an environmental contaminant. 100%. Number two, it definitely is the possibility for short-term harm. If you don't believe that, you don't understand anything about electronics or electrical engineering or how these towers are built. They are capable of short-term harm, immediate w harm. You understand? And number three, I don't, you don't want your fucking kids to become addicted to it. I don't want to be addicted to it. I don't want to be exposed to it, because I'm no better than anyone else. Like, if I'm at my parents' house where the TV is on 24-7, yeah, I'll stare at the fucking TV. I can't help it. I can't help it. It's a mind control device. So, just like I don't hang out at meth labs or at crack houses, I don't hang out in cell phone service. You understand? That's why I'm running from the cell phone service. And this is what I mean when I say Twin Pines, the towers, are they antennas? Okay? Look up at the top row here. All these antenna symbols, they are tree symbols. That's what I see. Tree, antenna. Pine, antenna. Like the Algonquin medicine man. The IOT. But it's not the Internet of Things, it's the Internet of Trees. That's what we used to have. Okay, and look look up in the top row, the cell phone bar service symbol is tipped over, mirrored as a tree also. Look at the Bluetooth symbol. 
we tip it over and it's twin pines it's two trees it looks like back-to-back -back E's but it could also be two trees with the frequencies coming off them like I said why do they make these cell phone towers in the shape of trees when no one believes it's a tree you see so what's the point if they're not serving their purpose do you know what I'm saying why do they make them look like trees is it just a truth drop making them look like trees like this and twin pines is this twin antennas is that what we're looking at here twin pines twin pines